From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story is that extension of the coronavirus emergency orders has now made it through Parliament. The Senate passed it after some debate yesterday, including an exchange between the Senate leaders, Attorney General Carl Bethel and PLP Senator Fred Mitchell, similar to the one that happened in the House between the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition. This means the emergency orders will stay in place at least until May 23rd, the Attorney General defending the government's decision to extend those orders, telling the Senate they will not be caught with their guards down again, admitting that the July reopening of the tourism industry, in his words, cost us dare. As they did in the House, the opposition senators did not agree with the extension of the orders. Health officials releasing the latest corona numbers, and they stay good. Only six confirmed cases were reported on Wednesday, five in the capital, one in Abaco. Hospitalizations jumped by a couple. There are now 17 persons being treated in hospital, none of them in intensive care, and the death toll remains at 175. Sending a message, Education Minister Lloyd telling reporters yesterday that this year's national exams will likely be held later than usual due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The minister says a final decision will be made on that soon. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police are going into the weekend with the 10th murder of the year already. The body of a man found on a track road in the Yellow Elder Gardens area yesterday. He had gunshot wounds. Assistant Superintendent of Police Audley Peters on the scene with this about that area. This area has normally been used for criminal activity in the past. We've had incidents that would have occurred in the back end. That's why we encourage persons not to travel on track roads or roads that they consider unsafe and this is an area that we don't suggest that individuals to travel to if you look at the terrain anything notorious is liable to happen no identity of the victim released as yet there could be what is being called a peaceful demonstration in abaco tomorrow to allow residents there to express their frustration about the hurricane dorian recovery effort and other issues prime minister menace among those paying respects to former cabinet minister william allen his body lying in state in the foyer of the house ahead of his funeral details of the day's top stories in the tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning stay up to date online at tribune 242.com now the tribune's accurate weather update a service of insurance management back end of a frontal system some clouds some sun today mild temperatures highs from the upper 60s to mid 70s 68 at freeport 70 in the capital 77 at matthew town no marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a high tide now. The next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Staying cool. Lows from the low to mid-60s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified Strader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified Strader every Monday through Friday. Only in the Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines. U.S. President Biden continues to make moves to try and control the spread of the coronavirus in that country, including ramped up vaccinations. The Americans are dealing with a continuing spread there, and there are more issues for them to deal with. The new variant found in South Africa is already in several states in the U.S. More than 100 million confirmed cases for the world heading into the weekend. Close to a million persons have died from this. There is spotlight on Africa now, where cases continue to surge in South Africa and several other African countries. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 391, SO402, Rubus $4.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Another good night for DeAndre Ayton in the NBA. He has another double-double on the Sun. Snap a three-game losing streak. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. 
Read about another loss for the Lakers last night. Detroit beat them. What's going on with L.A.? Updates on several Bahamans playing college sports in the U.S., including tennis player Sidney Clark. There's a major soccer update on the latest preview of the upcoming Super Bowl game a week from Sunday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune 242.